hello hello everybody welcome back to bring crafty world today i have a small tutorial on how easy way on how you can use these beautiful wooden stamps from uh the grass pyre uh, sometimes we do have things that we don't know how to use them or we ended up buying things that then we like how i'm gonna use this how i can incorporate this in my project and it's very easy uh, these borders are very very beautiful i think this uh, particular set that they have at crosspire.com is very very unique and very beautiful so i'm gonna use it and i have here a card a pre-made card from the garden party collection and i'm just going to create something very simple we're going to do something very very simple with this stamp set and is that we are going to create a border for this and and you see once you create and once you put a border on this card you will see how easy it's going to be the rest of it uh it's going to tie it up very nice and simple for you to continue the embellishments the way you want it so I just gonna grab one of these beautiful stamps, of course, and we are gonna uh, emboss uh, the stamp on the card and it will look very, very beautiful. So um, I'm thinking uh, maybe to use this design here. Uh, I grabbed two of them, sorry. So it's this one here, it's like in a scallop design. It's very pretty, a stamp. And we are just gonna go around and we are gonna emboss. So for that, I have my Versa mark, uh, water mark here. And I'm just gonna, you know, stamp this into my card. So um, I'm going to create a border with this stamp all right okay and i'm just gonna go on sections because i think if i do it um grab my tray if i do it all around it's going to be too much it can dry and we don't want uh the versa mark actually to dry so i have this here for the american craft this is the embossing powder in color gold and i'm just going to pour this on top of my car where i uh, already put my stamp on already and I'm just gonna get rid of the axis just like that I just gonna clean all right and I'm gonna clean here I need a tiny brush let me use one of these tiny brushes that I have here and of course you know i'm going to clean whatever we don't need there we go and now i'm going to remove this and i'm going to cover this because i'm going to use my heating gun my embossing heating tool that is this one here. Let me cover my personal marker mark. Um, and I'm just gonna apply it. And how beautiful is that? It's so beautiful. It's already you don't have to 
keep going. You don't have to do it for too long. See, you just apply and you see when it melts into the paper and that's it. Let me do it a little bit here to the corner to make sure it completely melts. And there we go. I just love that gold tone of the embossing powder. Very, very pretty. Now we're gonna continue and we're gonna do the sides of the card. And I'm just gonna go here. My stamp there, and then I'm going to stamp right here. Okay. And again, let me cover this so it doesn't get dry. I am grab my embossing powder again, and I'm gonna do the side. And it's good if you have it a small brush where you can get rid of, you know, if any area that you don't want embossing powder, you know, if it doesn't have the Versa mark on it, it won't stick to it. But just in case you wanted to make sure um, it won't stick, so you can remove it with the brush. And we're gonna apply it once again. And you guys maybe can see, maybe not, how it's going to start melting into the card. And there, it's done. Very, very nice. Okay. So now, I would like to do the other side.
So, there you have an awesome way on how to use your wooden stamps from Craftspire. You can create these, you know, from these playing cards, you can start giving uh, your cards or your tags or anything like that, you know, a nice touch. So you can start building um, into your card, you know, and you can start putting more cute things on it. Um, let's say that you want to embellish this a little bit more. Um, of course, you know, I have this here. Maybe this is not the appropriate, you know, embellishment, but, you know, somehow um, it, it's an idea on, you know, something that you can do, can you create, you can create another um, frame around. Let's, let's do this, see? Let's let's do that. Let's let's finish. I, I'm gonna use this one. Let let me see if I have another one here that doesn't say locking love. Let's say let's, let's see if I we have another one here that says something different. Uh, this one says always and forever. Um let's use this one that says always and forever, okay? And we are going to stick we're going to glue this one there okay and we're going to try to centralize these the best we could right here all right we're going to try to centralize that perfect because i want my card to open like that i see this i'm uh, going to need to be clean so let me i'm going to use one of these wipes they're not to be used for this but it's okay they will clean it Clean your stamps after you use them because we already used that design. We're gonna use another design around the embellishment. Mm. And let's see, we can use uh, this one maybe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do this one. Okay, so we're gonna do this one here, and I'm going to place it here. Okay, so one is there. Okay, my other one, it's going to be right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, I put it the wrong direction. It's okay, it is what it is. Maria made a huge mistake. So things happen, but it's okay. I put it in the wrong direction, but it's okay. We're gonna use it as it is, and the recipient's gonna excuse me for that one. And then we're gonna put it here. Okay, and then we're gonna put it there. Yeah. Mm. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. Okay. 
there you go we'll see if that work okay oh. let me do this one again to complete this side there we go we'll see let's see how this one goes maybe it doesn't go too good but you know this is for you to see um how you can create with these beautiful stamps um ideas on how you can create with them beautiful cards and tags and different things with them so already this one because it's more it's smaller i'm gonna pour it once and um at the same time there we go oops okay so with the brush I'm gonna fix like the areas that I don't need um, embossing powder like that there already like this here already Okay, so everything is fixed. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move this out of the way and we are getting our heating tool and we're gonna start applying the heat around the car. You can see how it melts very nicely. Cute. I'm done. And look guys, you have a very nice card already done for you um, with a cute uh, gold framing using these cute um, frame stamps. Let me clean this from Craft Fire. So I recommend you getting a set like this from Craft Fire. They are very affordable very nice to have you will love this and of course you will love to create um anything beautiful like this um your projects um gonna be much prettier and they're gonna look amazing so i highly recommend these stamps for you so Go ahead and give it a try. You probably are very better, you know, embosser using the embossing powder and all these tools. You probably are way better than I am. Um, but uh, it's something, you know, with practice and all that, you get better and better. But the stamps are very nice quality, guys. So i recommend you go ahead and give it a try and um, the price is a uh, very very affordable so yeah this is something that you can you know try and see if you like it and i hope that you do and i hope that you um, keep 
crafting and thank you so much for uh, for watching thank you so much for your support as always and i will link all these products in the description down below for you um thank you again for watching i will see you guys soon in another crafty video bye bye now